Hey folks, Ola here coming at you with a new product that I got in the mail yesterday. I'm going to give it a try. So I figured I'd go ahead and make a video of it in case it's something phenomenal and you want to try it. It is the Pisky Fun, Pissy Fun, it's the Pisky Fun Line Spooler. <clears throat> I'm going to spool up a Stratic 2500 with 15 pound Power Pro braid. Sometimes I use a, a mono backing, but I think I'm just going to spool the whole thing up with braid today just to make it easy. So let's see what's in the package first. Okay, it looks like it's three pieces. This is your reel holder. It's got a reel seat right there. So I think I'll tie the line on first. Then it looks like these are some adapters for the different spool sizes. It has a little pivoting head, so as your spinning reel is winding it up, this will go back and forth as needed. Put your spool right there. Then you can put some tension on it. Tie an arbor knot, and then I put a little bit of tape on there. Okay, don't forget to uh, open your bail when you're tying that first knot in there. Okay, so I've got my line tied to my spool. Now let's put my spinning rod in place. I don't think you've got to torque it down like a gorilla. Put the spool between the tensioner. I watched a video on this, but still not even super clear. Okay, it's going to need that adapter. That's how it's supposed to go. There we go. Got to put a lot of tension on it. So I guess if you wanted to put this on wet, you'd have to soak the spool before you started spooling. So I put a little more tension up here on that top knob. That way it will spin. You don't want to go too fast. But it sure beats holding a spool with my toes. That's how I used to do it. I'd put the spool, put a pencil through the spool, and then hold the pencil with my feet, and then reel up. But oh, this is so much easier. And it's going on with some tension, too. Plenty of tension. I hope I did it right, and I don't have a bunch of line twist. Certainly hope that's not the case. So we shall see here. Okay, folks. We shall see.